نو ٹیررزم ان پاکستان بفور افغان وار ڈی جی آئی ایس پی آر چیف ملٹری اسپوک پرسن ہیز سیٹ دیٹ دیئر کے ناٹ بی لاسٹنگ پیس ان دا ریجن ان لیس سیکورٹی اینڈ اسٹیبلٹی از انشورڈ ان افغانستان دیر واز نو ٹیررزم ان پاکستان بفور دی افغان وار اینڈ آر ٹارگیٹ از ٹو ٹیک پاکستان ٹو دا پری وار پیس فل ایرا ڈی جی آئی ایس پی آر جنرل آصف غفور سیٹ پاکستان اینڈ اٹس فیوچر از پراسپرس Agitators in Kasur turn on PMLN lawmakers. In continuance of the protests that erupted in Kasur a day earlier against the alleged police inaction following the rape and murder of a six-year-old child, a charged mob on Thursday broke into the homes of Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz PMLN lawmakers. MPA Naeem Safdar Ansari and MNA Waseem Akhtar and ransacked rooms and burned cars and set the outhouse ablaze of MNA Waseem Akhtar. Even though the protest began early in the morning at around 7 a.m., the violence escalated shortly after the funeral prayers of two protesters, Muhammad Ali and Shoaib, who were killed by police gunfire the day before. Tahrik al-Labbaik ya Rasool Allah Chief Khadim Hussain Rizvi led the funeral prayers. Supreme Court suspends Pakistan Medical and Dental Council forms interim committee to take charge. Supreme Court on Thursday suspended the Pakistan Medical and Dental Council and ordered an interim committee to take charge of its affairs. The seven-member interim committee will be headed by retired Justice Shakir Ullah Jan. Attorney General Ishtar Asaf will also be part of the setup and will help draft legislation for the body as per the Supreme Court's order. The interim committee will have the authority to inspect medical colleges as well, the order said. Announcing his verdict in court, Chief Justice of Pakistan, Justice Mia Saqib Nisar, said that he will monitor the interim setup personally. Chairman PTI Imran Khan says PTI to join Qadri in protest movement. The Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf has announced that it will join the Pakistan Awami Tehreek in its January 18 protest against the Punjab government for its failure to penalize those responsible for the Model Town incident. I will ask my party workers to be ready to join the protest on January 18, PTI Chairman Imran Khan said while addressing a news conference in Banni Gala. Earlier, PAT Chief Dr. Tahrul Qadri had announced he will start an anti-government movement from January 18 after the January 7 deadline given by a multi-party conference demanding resignations of Punjab Chief Minister Shahbaz Sharif and Law Minister Rana Sanaullah over the Model Town carnage. China issues sweeping guidelines to push Yuan for belt and road business. The People's Bank of China has announced a raft of new measures to push a greater cross-border role for the Yuan that aims to contribute to opening up on all fronts. The measures go beyond Yuan settlement of cross-border trade. In a notice posted on its website, the PBC lists five separate measures to be pursued. First, All cross-border business allowed by the law to be settled with foreign exchange can also be settled with RMB by enterprises. Following the principle of serving the real economy and facilitating trade and investments, banks are encouraged to develop new financial products based on current cross-border RMB business policies in order to improve their capacity in providing financial services and meet markets players' real and legitimate demands for cross-border RMB business. Saudi Arabia taking control of Bin Laden Group Saudi Arabia is taking managerial control of Saudi Bin Laden Group and discussing a possible transfer of some of the giant construction group's assets to the state while its chairman and other family members are in detention. Bin Laden, which had over 100,000 employees at its height, is the greatest builder in the country and important to Riyadh's plans for large real estate, industrial and tourism projects to help diversify the economy beyond oil. Donald Trump cancels February visit to the United Kingdom. Donald Trump has cancelled a visit to the United Kingdom planned for February, saying he was not a big fan of the new US embassy in London he was due to open. The ceremony may instead be hosted by US Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. Mr. Trump accepted the Queen's invitation for an official state visit when Theresa May met him last year. Downing Street declined to comment on Trump's cancellation of February's working trip to the United Kingdom. Brexiteers suggest another referendum. Two of Britain's most prominent Brexit campaigners endorsed a second referendum on leaving the European Union on Thursday as the best way to stop EU supporters from trying to water down or even halt the country's departure from the bloc. Britain shocked the political establishment in June 2016 
by voting 52 to 48 percent in favor of ending more than four decades of political, economic and legal ties with the European Union. Ecuador grants nationality to Assange. Ecuador has granted citizenship to WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange after more than five years of living in asylum at the nation's embassy in London, officials announced on Thursday. Foreign Minister Maria Fernanda Espinosa said officials accepted Assange's request for neutralization in December and they continue to look for a long-term resolution to a situation that has vexed officials since 2012. Ecuador gave Assange asylum after he sought refuge in the embassy to avoid extradition to Sweden for investigation of sex-related claims. Protesters burned down police headquarters in Tunisia. Tunisian protesters burned down a regional national security headquarters near the Algerian border, prompting authorities to send in troops after police retreated, witnesses said, as unrest over prices and taxes raged on nationwide. But the government, under pressure to cut a ballooning deficit and satisfy international lenders, will not revise austerity measures in the 2018 budget, despite the spate of protest, Tunisia's investment minister said on Thursday. Army troops have been deployed in several cities to help quell the unrest, seven years after the overthrow of autocrat Zine el Ebedin bin Ali in the first of the Arab Spring revolts. European powers urged Trump to preserve Iran nuclear deal. Britain, France and Germany called on Donald Trump on Thursday to uphold a pact curbing Iran's nuclear ambitions on the eve of sanctions, ruling by the US president they fear could torpedo an accord he has relentlessly criticized. Hailed by its admirers as key to stopping Iran from building a nuclear bomb, the deal lifted economic sanctions in exchange for Tehran limiting its nuclear program. It was also signed by China, France, Russia, Britain, Germany and the European Union. Sports Ben Stokes, Livingstone make England squad for New Zealand tests. All-rounder Ben Stokes was included in England's 16-man cricket squad for their test tour of New Zealand on Thursday, while Lancashire batsman Liam Livingstone got his first call-up. Seymour Mark Wood returns after struggling with injury and Ashes underperformers Moin Ali, James Wins and Mark Stoneman were all retained. However, Gary Bollins, Jake Ball and Tom Curran were all part of the Australia Test squad miss out. Weather Weather forecast for next 24 hours. Mainly cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country, including the northern areas and Quetta division. Foggy conditions are likely to prevail over plain areas of Punjab and Upper Sindh during morning hours. Please subscribe to Humsub TV and hit the notification icon on the screen to get the latest updates of our channel. Thank you for watching Humsub TV.